Okay, so we have done the first part of uh, the computers. Now we we'll go to the parts of a computer. A computer is divided into two parts. One, the hardware. Two, the softwares. Okay? Like the human board, we have the physical board as well as the spiritual board. So similar to the computers, there is a hardware, something that you can touch. Then a software, something that you cannot touch. So hardware basically are defined to be the physical, touchable, and visible parts of a computer system. Okay? Then the examples of hardware, mostly these are central processing unit, memory, which is the RAM, storage devices, such as hard drives, CDs, CD-ROMs, then input devices, we have keyboards, mouse, scanners, joysticks, and the output devices, we have monitors and printers, and networking devices such as routers and modems. Okay, so most in the physical class, I make it uh, the four categories of hardware, which I've said, one, the storage devices, two, the input devices, output devices, and networking devices. So be able to divide the hardware into four categories. Then software, like I said, for the human body, software can be related to the spiritual or rather the soul. Okay, now coming to the computers, a software is simply a set of instructions that are installed in the computer memory. Okay, or rather softwares will refer to the non-tangible programs or instructions that are installed on a computer system to enable it to perform specific tasks or functions. So softwares are divided into three, which is one, the system software, two, the application software, and two, I mean, and the, the last one, utility softwares. So we have this computer with the hardware, the ones that we have talked about. Then coming to the software, on the software part, um, we must have the system software. This mostly is uh, the heart of the computer. Assume you want to buy a car. The first thing you would want to check is the engine. Is the engine working? Is the car moving? So similar to the computer, you would want to know if the computer is working, okay? Where are you going to check that computer? Is the system software, or rather the operating system software. It's the same thing. So the first thing first, you would want to check the operating system software. Then second, that's when now you would want to put in the application softwares, like uh, Microsoft Office, because you want to to make it start working. So the application softwares, these are simply softwares that does the specific job. Okay, For you to start typing, you must have a software that will need to do that. For you to start chatting, you must have a software to use to chat with other people. So a good example is uh, WhatsApp, Facebook. All those are application softwares. Those will only be used to to chat with the friends and other people. Then you teach softwares. These are now the ones which do also a specific job. For instance, antiviruses. Antiviruses will allow or rather will defend the computer from viruses and other softwares. Now, what do we want? Okay, we want to create information on the computer. But where is that information going to come from? That's why a computer has a keyboard. Okay? The keyboard has got the data. So the only thing here I want to describe or rather differentiate between data and information. Which one is data? Which one is information? So for us to have information, we need first to have data. We need first to have data so that we create this information. 
So data is simply the raw facts, figures, or numbers. If you look at the keyboard, the keyboard has got the alphabetical order there. That alphabetical order is a good example of data. Why? Because those letters, they are ungrouped. For us to make information, we need to pick or rather select letters that will make something meaningful. So from data, we now create something meaningful, which is the information. So alphabetical order, even numbers. If I just give you one, two, are you going to have a meaning there? No, that's just a number. But if I put 12 kwacha, what are you going to have? What are you going to think? Of course, that is money. Okay, so from numbers with a letter, you have information. Okay, so you have to be able to differentiate between data and information. So from data is where now you have the information. Therefore, information is the input which is processed and stored by a computer system. Or rather in simple terms, information is just the processed data.